Mark Williams on our right. So the opening shot in match number two on lane 15. And we're informed uh, by a representative from the PBA that in that 10th frame, he was experimenting a little bit, switch balls, and it's changed balls now. Maybe he wants to go back. <laughs> <laughs> well, as so often happens, after a brief commercial break and the players, uh, especially after the bowler wins a match, he comes back to start another match and he's kind of relaxed, throws it a little slower, goes through the middle of the head pin. And cross lane at the 3 6 10, no trouble as he continues to fill frames and not make major mistakes. Our first look at Scott Alexander from Seattle, Washington. He's uh, 6'1", 210, 29 years old. Oh, first shot, 6 7 10. Seems like every time somebody makes a mistake against Mark Williams, they pay the full price. Well, here's another look at that shot, and he definitely paid the full price. You're right, Mike. This ball just never did get out anywhere near the area he's been playing throughout the week. He wants to get that ball at least another four or five boards to the right and farther down the lane at least three or four feet. Good spare shooter here. Watch watch the ball speed. Watch the ball speed on this shot. He tries to slide it over. And gets the two. Nine out, open frame. Here's another look at the style of Scott Alexander. Very classic style. Watch the long heel to toe steps. Good balance at the foul line again. You see the head and shoulders right over the knee here. Watch him come up though at the, at the point of release here. He, he goes through the ball and then starts up. If you start up, you're gonna cut the ball off a little bit. When he goes down like that, uh, you don't recommend no. change in elevation like that. I didn't no. notice that so much until I saw it on the replay. Yeah, he's always bold like that. And He's always been successful with that style, but it's hard to repeat. And there's Cindy, his wife Cindy. Oh boy, she looks very nervous there. Well, she doesn't have much experience with this either. You have to remember, this is only her second show, too. Right. Mark Williams, second frame. And his first uh, possible open frame as he goes high and leaves the 4-6-7. Here's another look at that shot. Mark is just, he's trying to go more direct with the ball. In other words, not hook it quite as much. It's just not working for him. His strength is opening up the lane. He's got to go back to that. Coming up next is ESPN Championship Boxing, a 12-round WBO Junior Middleweight Championship fight right after bowling. Features Bronco McGart, 27-1 against Santos Cardona, 30-6. I'll tell you what, I don't know that I like the reaction to this bowling ball. He may have liked it in the 10th frame, but he was nice and loose and relaxed there. Yeah, he definitely was rolling the ball very loose and relaxed in the 10th because that match was over. Uh, this one, he's got some pressure. He knows that Scott Alexander is a very talented player, can give him all he wants. He's just not getting that ball down the lane. Mark Williams, again, very experienced. He will make some changes. Now, Scott Alexander didn't have uh, his opponent jump out and get way ahead. He still leads in this match by four pins. We're entering the third frame. Bottom half of the third. Hi again, Earl. 3-6-10. Well, see, what's happened here is the way the lane condition is, there, this is synthetic lanes, Brunswick synthetic surface, and the oil is down 35 feet. It's heavy in the middle from the 15 board on the left to 15 board on the right. Then there's a dry area on the right for five boards and then an out of bounds, actually for almost eight boards, then an out of bounds from like six board to out to the channel. The players are trying to get into that oil in the middle of the lane, get the ball 50 feet down the lane before it hooks like that. See how he's way into the oil and then it hooks on the back end? That's what he's looking for but he's not getting as much skid as he feels he should be getting. He was in practice. He was in practice, but the lanes will change. There is a transition. Remember, we had five guys out there throwing a lot of bowling balls for 45 minutes to an hour before we went on the air. You don't think he's just nervous? I, I think he's nervous. I think I think any, any athlete in competition is going to be nervous to a degree, but I don't think it's going to affect his game. He's a good player. Very good player. He's got good physical abilities, very strong physically. 
knows his game very well, and there's an over adjustment. And the left lane is different than the right lane. The ball just never made the turn back. Well, breaks out the uh, 210, leaving only the two and the four. Here's another look at it. Look how deep he is. The ball is going right over, right between the second and third arrow on the left side of the lane, and then going out to about the eight or 10 board on the right side, and it just couldn't get it back, not from that deep. Too much oil in the middle there. He needs to go into that oil, but then go more directly to the pocket and not get it so wide. At Straighter the 2-4. Right. right there. That's where he wants to be. That part of the lane right there. Has the spare leads by only two pins. Mark Williams searching for his first strike in this second match in the fourth frame. In the fourth frame, Mark Williams finds his first strike as we have uh, several vocal fans back here uh, giving it almost you demand type thing. <laughs> Well, they definitely are pulling for Mark Williams here. He's the favorite. The crowd favorite, I should say. Well, at least of a couple of guys, huh? Yeah, a couple of guys. They're very vocal, you know, question. Well, if they name, if we name this uh, Global Lanes, we may have it. Or Global Pin Lanes, yeah, right. Trying for a double. And the old PBA.